So we're gonna make overlapping numbers like Jasper Johns did. So you will have some stencils of your own with different numbers. You'll notice that the white side is the side you want up, not the gray side. Some of you don't have these, you have different colors. So you wanna take your pencil and very carefully trace around the entire number. You can use whatever numbers you want for this. may have to move your hand a little bit to make it fit so I'm trying to space out my numbers but once I start running out of room I'm going to start overlapping them on purpose so you'll see here that with my next number and they can kind of go at an angle I wouldn't draw them upside down because then it looks like you don't know which direction your numbers go but you could tilt them make them a little funky And if you have a lot of white space, you'll want to fill up some more of your paper. So after I finished this too, I decided oh, I'm not quite done. So I decided to put that one in there. If you have larger numbers, like that take up a lot of space, you won't have to do as many. So now we're going to use markers to trace the outside of our numbers. You're going to get to pick a color family to stick with. I chose secondary colors, so purple, orange, and green. You'll notice your numbers are overlapping and so you can either choose to draw right over it with the next color of marker or kind of go around it. I'll do both so you can see that happen. And you wanna kind of mix it up. I don't wanna put all the purples next to each other and all the oranges next to each other. I'm gonna try to space them out. So you can see on the four, I kind of went around my eight instead of over top of my marker line there. So making sure I use every color from my color family, taking my time tracing with my marker. Now you notice on this one, I'll go right through the two. So whichever way you prefer, if you wanna go around them or over them. Next, we're going to use crayons in a different color family to color in our spaces, but you're not coloring in the whole number one color. So you'll notice on most of my eight, I'm going to color it red. I'm not gonna color the whole thing red. Those places where they overlap, we wanna do a different color just to make it look more interesting. Make sure you're coloring in nicely and filling in that whole space. So I'm working around all those numbers. So now I'm going to switch to a different color, but I'm gonna finish coloring my eight, but it's also where the numbers overlap and you can do whatever colors from your color family you want. And again, don't do a lot of the same colors next to each other if you can avoid it. Sometimes it's going to happen, but you can see too my four is mostly yellow, which is that little part overlapping the eight being different. My three will end up kind of the same. And then I'm gonna use a different color for my two and I've got that little sliver of the one on there. Make sure I don't color that blue. And I would keep going, but I'll stop for now.